What is going on, my fellow fat kids? See, I told you I'd keep up with the uploads. My hockey boner is starting to harden once more, so I'm going to try and get a team comparison out for every play-in match for the 2020 playoffs. If you haven't seen the bracket yet, here it is. Personally, I love this idea, and I am more hyped for these playoffs than I ever have been before. Uh, maybe that's just because my team is the underdog number 24 seed, but that's besides the point. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at the Rangers versus the Hurricanes. If you want a better idea of how this works, I suggest you go watch my Toronto vs. Boston episode that I posted a while ago. But nobody actually goes to watch videos that people suggest, so I'll just explain it here. We will be taking a look at each position of both teams and comparing them, and deciding who has the superior left wing, right wing, center, etc. There will be six points awarded, and if there's a tie at the end, the tiebreaker will go to who I think wins the play-in. All lines will be taken from Cap Friendly. Starting off with left wingers. This matchup falls completely on the shoulders of Kreider's ability to recover from his foot injury. He is expected to miss six more weeks, and we don't know when the play-in will be starting, but for this video, I will be assuming that he does make a return, and in that case, New York easily takes the dub. They have the rightful heart winner in Panarin, who didn't even make top three, and Kreider with his grit grinder style of play isn't too much less valuable than Carolina's star left winger in Svech. So, yeah, I'm going to be giving the left wingers to New York, although... They don't have too much outside of their two stars. Next up we have centers, which is who the play always starts off with. So they're the heart of their team, so this is a very important round. If this comparison was done one year ago, Carolina would have won. But Mika Zibanejad really took the next step this year, and Strom also decided to exist this year. You could argue that a lot of Strom's success can be attributed to playing with Panarin, which is probably true, and is why he should have won the heart. Yes, I'm going to be salty about this the whole video, but I'm just taking a narrowed in look at the stats, and the stats tell me that Strom is a good center this year, and Zibby is also better than Aho. I always feel rather disappointed by Aho's production. I have been waiting and expecting him to jump up to that 100 point superstar caliber player, but he's just been hovering around or slightly below point per game for his whole career. I hope he proves me wrong soon, but for now... With their newly emerged superstars, I gotta give round 2 to the Rangers as well. 2-0 Rangers. Moving on to right wingers, we're looking to see if New York can sweep the offense 3-0, or if Carolina can make this competitive again by taking this round. New York's offense has been pretty stacked up until this point, but right wing is their clear weakness. Rangers fans are probably thinking, hey, even if we lose right now, Kako will be much better than all these guys in the future. But then you take a look at Martin Nekas, who I would personally rather have on my team over Kako. And and even right now, both teams' respective right-wing stars, Teravainen and Buchnevich. Teravainen is the much better player, and then even depth-wise, Williams into Zingle versus Gauthier and Fast, Carolina just anally penetrates them with no loot. Carolina takes a commanding win in this round, but it's still overall 2-1 for New York. So in the offensive positions... Newark has the slight edge, but moving on to defense, which is known to be Carolina's strong suit. And I feel that it's necessary to explain this, so I'm going to be using plus minus. In a vacuum, plus minus is not a good stat, but when compared to other teammates and the team's overall goal differential, it can be a useful stat. So, now, on to lefty. Slavin and Vatanen are both great defenders that are brought down heavily by the nuisance that is Jake Gardner. Side note, I love that I've made two of these and have got to shit on Jake Gardner in both. But, as much as he may try, Jake cannot bring these two guys down to the level of that New York lefty. Gardner is worse than all of their defenders, but Slavin, being one of the, fest, the best defensive defensemen in the league, very easily makes up for any shortcomings that Gardner brings to their blue line. And then add the newly acquired Vatnin into the mix, and it's not even close. Carolina absolutely demolishes this round. 2-2. They say that Carolina has one of the best blue lines in the entire league, and that proved to be true with lefty. Let's see if it'll be the same story with right D. Hamilton and Pesci, two guys that were injured heading into the break, could be a big difference in terms of this competition. And according to Cap Friendly, Hamilton will be back, but Pesci won't. Now, obviously, Hamilton would be a massive addition to that blue line, but I don't know if it's enough to keep up with that young, deadly Rangers right D. Hamilton right now is probably slightly better than anyone the Rangers have to throw at them, but both D'Angelo and Fox come pretty close. Carolina without Pesci has some depth issues with Edmondson, so right D goes to New York, but mm, only slightly. Heading into the final round, New York is winning 3-2. Can Carolina bring it back and make us go into overtime, or will New York finish it up right here with the goalies? 
New York is one of the only teams that runs with three goalies. So, yeah, that's going to be a big plus for them. And three capable, subjectively capable goalies. Sorry, Hank. I find it impressive that Shesterkin can keep such a high save percentage while playing on such a run-and-gun, offensively-minded team. And Mrazic, while having a lower goals against average compared to the New York starters, he also has a lower save percentage while he's facing lower quality shots that are easier to save. So I'm going to be giving the final round of goaltending to New York. Overall, New York Rangers beat Carolina 4-2. So the Rangers ended up taking the victory in team comparison, but who do I think will take the victory in the play-in round? If we take a look at the data that we've compiled here, New York wins at more positions, but when Carolina wins, they win big. But the matchups aren't always as black and white as the numbers say they are. So who am I taking to win in the best of five play-in series between these two? Yeah, I'm still going to be taking New York because the teams haven't played in several months and the play will probably look like how it does at the start of the season, which is very fast-paced, high-scoring games. So I'm going to be taking the more offensively-minded Rangers in this matchup. Well, that's all for me for today. Be sure to work out, eat healthy. <laughs> you know I'm just kidding. I'll see you next